I hope you all are having a great day. Today we're going to be going over this super easy and clean background slide transition uh, that anyone can pretty much do with stock plugins in Adobe After Effects. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like and a sub. And yeah, let's hop straight into this tutorial. So with this background slide transition, there are so many different variations. There's just so many different ways to do it. There's so many situations where it could apply. And I think it's a very versatile transition to have in your pocket. So uh, here I've just got a clip from Cole Bennett and Lil Yachty's Poland music video. And as you can see, there's not really a transition here. So I thought I'd take this clip and spice it up a little bit with some of the sauce. So first thing, I'm just gonna control shift D that frame. That's gonna split up the two clips uh, very nicely. So now I've got them split. I really want this to overlay over the first clip. So I'm just gonna have it, I don't know about, how many frames is that? Eight frames over the first clip. So now it appears that the transition is a little bit faster. So now we're going to double click and open this up. And we're going to get our Roto Brush tool. Now, if you guys have never Roto Brush before, I'll give you a quick rundown. So with the Roto Brush tool, you get this little green dot and you just want to drag over your subject like so or whatever you want to mask out. And now we'll automatically Roto Brush. And as you can see, it is not perfect. So we're going to have to go back and change that. Get the Roto Brush tool again. If you hold Alt, you will see it'll turn to a negative and it'll turn red. And what this is doing is subtracting anything we don't want. So subtracting that, I don't want this here. And I don't want this here. Now that we've got our first frame good, I'm just gonna keep hitting frame forward, page down is my binding. And just go through, make sure everything is rotoscoped correctly and just mask him the whole way through. So I'm gonna speed this up. Once you've got all your frames roto brushed out, as you can see, you're just going to want to hit the freeze right here. You want to hit freeze and this is just going to lock in your roto brush. Make sure that everything is masked out. And uh, yeah, this might take long depending on the quality of your clip, how long your clip is. So mine's all frozen now. If we close out of this layer, we can see that now we just have Yachty rotoscoped out and this is all we have. Um, and we just want to go back and define this. So if, if your rotoscope's a little bit choppy in some places, like right here, it's not a good edge uh, where you can see the background, like right here. You just want to go to shift edge and make that all the way down. And it can really fix up some of those mistakes. Another thing you can do is increase the feather if you're still not happy with your product. As you can see, it just looks a lot smoother, a lot cleaner and a lot better. Now what we're going to do is as soon as this clip comes in, we're just going to control shift D again and make another layer. Now with this layer, we're gonna go in and go to the effects rotoscope and actually delete it from this layer. Uh, and I'm just gonna drag it out to the same length. There we're actually gonna put underneath our roto brush. Here we have three layers. The bottom layer is the clip that we're transitioning from. And this layer is our original transition to clip. And now on top, we have our roto brush clipped uh, Roto brushed out. So the first thing that we want to do for this transition is actually make Yachty pop into the scene. Instead of just showing up like that, we want to make him pop in. Tons of ways to do this, but one of my favorite ways is definitely just to have him slide up from the bottom. I think it looks really clean, especially with his torso being cut down right here. So now I'm going to go to the effects and presets tab over here on the right, type in transform. Here we'll get distort transform. We're just going to drag that onto our clip. Now we can see on the effect controls, we have transform. So we're going to keyframe position, hit this little ticker symbol. And at the first frame, we don't want him being frame. So we're just going to drag the height to the right. And that is going to put Yachty down there. Now I'm saying one, two, three, maybe four might be enough. And I'm just going to reset this to 540. So in these four frames, as you can see, pops up. And that is our animation. From here, there's a couple things we can do. Number one, those are linear keyframes. And linear keyframes are just trash in general. So we're gonna get rid of those. We're gonna go to our top layer, effects, transform, and you're gonna see our two keyframes right here. Highlight both of those, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease. And this is just gonna give it a very smooth transition. Uh, instead of a linear motion, it's just going to be smoother. Hit the motion blur, and this is just gonna make it a lot smoother when he pops in. As you can see, that's already looking so much better. So now that we have Yachty popping in, we are going to go to our background layer and do something very similar. We are going to get to the frame where Yachty actually fully pops in and merges, which is right here. And we're just gonna drag on transform. Now I'm just gonna crop mine to here 
to where Yachty fully comes in. And this is where I'm gonna start my transition of the background slide. So this is the actual background slide. So once you guys have dropped transform on here, we're going to, again, take or simple the position, but this time we're going to make this height value down and we're actually going to raise it up like so until it's out of frame. Now we're gonna go forward one, two, three frames and keyframe it back to 540. And if you play that through, you'll see the effect Yachty comes in and the background slides down and I just love how that looks. Uh, but again, if you wanna add a little bit extra sauce and make it look just even better, if you put that motion blur on, now we've got an animation of Yachty coming from the bottom and the background from the top. You wanna go into the drop down effects, transform, and just look at these keyframes, highlight them, right click, and easy ease them. So there we have it guys, that is our basic background slide transition. You already see that just looks so clean. The transition is so much better than it was before. If you guys do wanna add a little bit of extra sauce, you just wanna look up curves in your effects and presets and drag that onto your rotoscoped clip. Um, and what we're gonna do is wanna keyframe the curves and we're just gonna drag this brightness up quite a bit. Now you can mess with this to get the look that you want, but uh, I think that's a good color right there. And as he comes in, I'm just going to reset this back to the default. So as you can see, as he pops in, he kind of flashes color there. And I think that just adds a little bit more to this transition. One thing you can do is make it longer or shorter. So you go into the drop down and go to your curves and you can see if I want this to be longer, I can just drag it a couple frames longer. And now the animation is a little bit longer than it was and he's flashing, glowing, whatever you want to call it, for a little bit longer. And if you want, we can actually do the exact same effect to our background. So we can copy this curves and we can paste it onto our background here. Now we might have to go and adjust where the keyframes are. And yes, we will, but we'll just drag them to where wherever the background initially slides. So it would be like right here. I'd have the curves. There we have it. We have a little flash and a flash. Now what I say this effect is easily customizable. It is very easy to customize. If we just want it to go, let's say we want it's Yachty to come from the right instead of coming from the bottom. It's really easy to do. All we have to do is go to our initial keyframe. I'm just gonna reset it to make it easier and I'm going to make him come in from the left going to the right. So I'm just gonna drag him all the way to the left. And as you can see, now he's coming from the left and it's just a whole different feel. Now I might actually make that transition a little bit longer as you can see. But yeah, you can play around with which direction you want everything coming, how fast you want everything to take place. And just let me know what you guys wanna see next drop suggestions make sure you go follow mission and all their socials we just dropped a video uh for p jersey i'll have the p jersey video linked in the description if you guys want me to go over any effects from the p jersey video just let me know down below and i will be happy to help you guys out other than that i'll see you guys in the next video later